asked all the time is how do I stop people from standing up inside of the guard or how do I stop people from passing my guard? So first let's take a look at what Chewie's doing here to either stand up or to break from a low position here. So Chewie's keeping control of my chest to stop me from sitting up and he's keeping control of my hip. And if he's starting to do a standing pass, he's gonna control the wrist here, stand up, and he's in a good base here. So when I feel him start to block the hips, the first thing that I wanna do is control the elbows. This is my favorite way to do it. It works on a lot of bigger people. So I'm gonna take my hands and seize, I'm gonna pull the elbows out, and I'm gonna use my legs to pull the guy forward. Now that I have his posture broken, when I feel him start to posture back up, now I can start to attack my submissions off that. If I feel that he's starting to grab my wrist, I need to grip fight from here. If I let him control, it's gonna be easy for him to start to stand up. So if I can, I just wanna start rotating my wrist and pulling my legs forward. And a little trick that I do all the time, if you look at Chewie's face right here, he's straight up. Sometimes when people start to pass is they do a little rock forward. When I feel him start to rock forward, I want to pull my legs up. So I don't even have to use my hands at all. You're going to feel the hips start to move forward. When I feel this motion here, I'm just going to do a big pull forward. And this knocks the guy's face off. So again, if I feel that he's pushing down on my hip, he's going to do a low pass now. So I need to start to focus the one that's pinning my hips so I can start to move again. If I feel like he's controlling the arm, then I need to break the grip off the arm by just pushing the first hand off, rotating, and pulling my legs forward. And the last thing, if I feel his body start to rock over top the center line, I just wanna use my legs to do a big pull forward. I can grab the elbows, I don't even have to. Just pull my legs here, and now I can start to attack. So again, if we get control of the elbows, I do a big pull forward, my legs come in. If I feel that he's controlling the wrist, what I wanna do is just take my hands, knock the top grip off, and then I can rotate my wrists because it's focused on one now. Rotate, pull my legs forward, and we're good to go again. If I feel his weight rock past the center line, just pull your legs forward. Boom, here. Knock them off base, and now I can start to work to set something up, maybe get a higher guard, or at least the guy didn't pass my guard, I can start to reset back into my position. So those are some simple but very effective techniques to stop the guy from passing the guard. Again, the key thing that we want to focus on is what is he doing? Is he controlling the wrist? If he's controlling the wrist, I need to break those grips off. If he's controlling the hips, that's the first thing that I need to focus so I can start to move again and start to transition to a different position or a submission there. Thanks guys.